Kanye West is serving up a big surprise tonight for his fans here in Detroit. He's putting on a second free concert, this time at the Fox Theater. Earlier today, he brought down the house with his Sunday service at the Aretha Franklin Amphitheater. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury joins us live from outside the Fox. And Simon, when do doors open? Hey guys, yeah, doors are supposed to open here at 6.30. And as you can see, folks are already lining up. Now, there's just been a, it's been a crazy day for Kanye West fans. First, Kanye created so much buzz with his Sunday service at the Aretha Franklin Amphitheater. That was earlier today. That buzz was going on all this week and moments after that show ended then it was announced here at the Fox Theater Kanye West was going to do another free show but this time it isn't another Sunday service it's called Jesus is King a Kanye West experience so why is this a big deal? Well, Jesus is King is Kanye West's new album. And there were rumors all this week that he was supposed to drop this album and then it never happened. So we're not really sure, but is he going to give Detroiters a preview of his album right here tonight for the first time? Well, that is yet to be seen. And like I said, it's been a crazy day for fans. You may remember we introduced you to a student, a college student yesterday. He was flying in from Canada to go check out Sunday service. He didn't have a ticket. He ended up getting Scam. Well, guess what? He ended up making it to the event and he got a free ticket. He was able to get in thanks to another kind hearted fan. I was crying in the airport yesterday when I got scammed. When superfan Noah Regu didn't get a free ticket to Kanye West's show, he used PayPal to send money to buy one, but it turned out to be a scammer. Well, after tweeting about it and putting his story on Action News, this man stepped up. I wanted to go someone that would really appreciate it. Thousands showed up for the performance that was streamed live on Sundayservice.com. <laughs> Local singers joined the choir like Aria's mom. Watching the concert. My mom's my mom's in the choir. Noah is grateful to Evan for his kindness. I couldn't stop looking and like dancing. It was so, it was just amazing. I'm glad it went to somebody that, you know, really enjoyed it. This was his first time ever seeing Kanye, so um, it was great. <laughs> All right, we got some Kanye West fans here. You guys excited about tonight? Yes. All right, and the line again is behind us over there. You can see everybody's in line right now. If you're wondering, Noah and Evan are in line back there. They actually got themselves a ticket, so they're going to enjoy two concerts tonight. And get this, you guys. They said earlier today at the amphitheater, the Aretha Franklin Amphitheater, Kim Kardashian West and their children made it on stage. So it's yet to be seen if that's going to happen again. All right, guys. Doors open at 6.30. The show is 8 o'clock. If you plan on coming down, it is a mobile free event that includes smart watches. You're not allowed to bring smart watches here. And you going. You have to come here with a mobile ticket, but you're going to end up getting your phone uh, locked up during the show. So we have all this information on our website at WXYZ.com. We're live outside of the Fox Theater. I'm Simon Chowdhury for 7 Action News. Lots of excitement. 